Welcome to the channel everybody. Today I have behind me this Cummins ISX engine. This engine was making a very unusual sound as you can hear right now. So you probably wonder what was the cause of that problem. So that is something that I'm going to be talking on this video. This engine is already a part because we have to find out what was the cause of this problem. But I wanna show you what we find out after we took everything apart. When we have here the head gasket of this Cummins ISX engine, probably you don't notice anything unusual because it looks normal, but when you pay attention, you can clearly see right here there is a big gap over here see so here is where the compression was leaking all the compression was leaking to the coolant system and the crankcase system uh, uh, that's the reason why you could see a lot of smoke coming from the engine every time the engine was running you could see a lot of smoke because the compression was happening here every cycle so when the injector was injecting the fuel and the compression happened right all the fuel was getting released right here to the coolant system or to the old system everything was caused because of a broken head gasket um, but uh, the head gasket doesn't break just like that i mean there could be another reason why a head gasket breaks and that is something that you have to actually figure out right i mean um, it is easy to figure out this problem i mean this truck because you take you took everything apart but usually when these kind of problems happens because of a broken head gasket but the repair it is not just to replace the head gasket it is a little more than just that for that we're gonna go to the engine block to see what caused this problem to happen on this engine here we have the engine block I mean as soon as you see the engine block you can see something completely off right you can see two broken bolts remember then I did another video talking about broken bolts on a different Cummins ISX engine in that case it was just one broken bolt in this case there is two on the cylinder number five this is the cylinder number five number six right here so all the compression leak was happening in cylinder number five it was getting released to the coolant system or the old system we have the uh, orifices over here for coolant and oil as well and this uh, was the whole reason why this engine got all destroyed the way uh, it happened that's why you saw a lot of smoke coming from uh, from the inside of the engine um, the driver of this engine they were on um, I believe they were in Phoenix Arizona and they drove it all the way to um, San Bernardino uh, to get it fixed because they didn't want the truck to stay there because that is a lot of money to leave it there uh, but the problem was then this engine was releasing a lot of compression and that damaged so many other things as an example it damaged the front cover seal we have the front cover right here so it has a seal it's already damaged it is leaking a lot of oil because over pressure the rear cover seal too is damaged the belt housing is known the one then goes on the back where the transmission goes that seal is broken as well and also the turbo went bad you can see a lot of oil on the exhaust pipe over there because the turbo went bad too so um, it was not a great idea to actually drive the truck in this condition because now 
the expense that this person has to do to repair this truck is way higher just because he decided to drive the truck all the way to uh, uh, California. A tow truck probably is gonna, it was going to be around like maybe like $2,000, $3,000. Now, just the turbo is around $5,000 and the labor to repair all these parts, I mean, these components, is something extra. So basically there is like a, like a probably like $4,000, $5,000 extra besides the engine overhaul then has to be done no matter what in this case because we have the two bolts and were completely broken we have to resurface the engine block which means then someone has to come and measure the cylinders to see if they can be reused if they cannot be reused they have to actually do the bottom part which is this one over here you can see the bottom part of the cylinder right here. This is what has to be redone because the cylinders weren't in the best uh, in this engine because the bolts were loose. So that was uh, th that is the reason why it's very important to recheck the engine block, specifically if you already have this type of problems on your engine. Um, we have here the bolts. And you can see how the bolt looks, how it got broken. You can clearly see the only area that was in contact with the rest of the bolt. And the rest, it was not in contact at all. You can clearly see the mark of the bolt, how it looks. And that is the reason why it broke, because it was just a tiny bit of it holding it. So this bolt was already damaged for a long time. And we have the other one right here, and you can clearly see the same thing. The contact surface of the ball was very minimal, so that means that this ball was just uh, there just because it was not completely broken, but it was already not making any pressure at all. So this problem happened long from long time. I mean, it didn't happen right now. It happened way before, way, way in time. Probably someone did an overhaul before and decided to use the same balls and they broke. That's very important. Uh, uh, that's one of the main reasons why you have to replace the bolts, the head bolts. You have to replace them is very important because if you don't replace these bolts, this could happen. And if this happens, a major problem can happen. It's gonna cost you so much money after because it's not going to be something cheap to repair. Uh, I will just say then if you are going to do the overhaul after all this, you have to replace all the bolts, you have to resurface the block, you have to resurface the head, and uh, as it looks, the head also has a damage, so the head has to be replaced with a new one, and uh, there is a lot of money to spend on, and spend on this truck overall, so it's not going to be cheap. And and, and plus all the other components like the turbo from cover the uh, rear uh, bell housing and so many other uh, different components that we have to fix just because of the same problem. This overhaul is going to be super expensive just because two broken bolts. As everybody says, only has two broken bolts. That, what is, uh, that is something that you will say, it is just two broken bolts, right? But the cost of repairing two broken bolts is way more than just the cost of the bolts. So that is something that you have to have in mind. In this case, for this engine, we're gonna be using Interstate Might Be. It is not a really bad quality, but it is not like the OEM quality, Cummins quality. I would recommend you to buy OEM quality because it is just better. But that would say mean then you have to use only Cummins because you know, I mean, like I understand that it's not so easy, especially when it comes to the uh, uh, the amount of money you have to spend to repair a truck like this, specifically when you have many other problems. In this case, this uh, um, this uh, overhaul is gonna cost like three times less than the original Cummins overhaul. And uh, that's the reason why the owner of the truck bought it because he didn't want to spend that much money 
on uh, this overhaul he wanted something cheaper but he is uh, conscious then this will be a problem too because sometimes aftermarket overhaul can be a little problematic so he already knows then this could be bad so uh, he is conscious about that and uh, and that is very important i feel more relieved because sometimes customers can come and they want to bring their own parts and then later they want uh, the mechanic to cover the warranty and that is not the way it's supposed to be but uh, as i say i will just prefer comments but that will depend up to you so uh, this was just um, a basic talk about that problem then it was a very like very bad problem i mean uh, uh, you could hear the engine and the engine was like super bad i mean that this engine was making this really bad sound and make you feel that the engine was broken in the inside and yeah the engine was broken in the inside but it was not like a broken piston or a broken uh a connecting rod or something like that it was just the uh cylinder bolts that were broken but it was enough to destroy whatever else thing was around it. And uh, this, it is just to demonstrate you what type of problems can you expect from a Cummins ISX. You already know Cummins ISX are good engines, but also they mean they, they don't have problems. They do have problems and they are more expensive too. Um, so um, you have to decide which engine is the best. That depends up to you. Anyway, um, this is all I have to share for you today. And um, I'm pretty sure you have different experience, different ideas or different uh, opinions about problems like this. So if you do, please use the comment section below. There you can have, uh, you can do any type of comments. You can uh, comment anything. You can share your experiences. You can share any opinions or simply just want to be part of the uh, conversation the, in day by day people is adding comments to my videos that way you can learn something or you can uh, give knowledge to someone else probably I can get knowledge from you as well that's the reason why it's very important then you comment on the comment section of this video if uh, you wanna send support to my channel, you can check the video description where I have details how to send support to my channel so I can create content like this. You can learn more about trucks. And you want to ans uh, ask me something directly, you can go to Instagram, Francisco Maya YouTube, you can ask me something there. And you know what to do next, follow me there too. Uh, so up to right now, this is all. Hopefully later I'm going to do different videos about Cummins ISX and trying to do more videos about Cummins ISX so that way you can uh, understand more about this engine. So stay tuned for the next video, like the video, share it, very important, subscribe is important as well and thank you for watching.